Live from New York, it's the show that is wishing you a happy Juneteenth. It's first things first. Today, the suns rise. Bradley Beal headed to Phoenix. Shamit, CP3, and picks to Washington. Here's the raw numbers on this new Phoenix offense. Pretty good if you're playing in that all three-on-three -three league that Jimmer plays in. <laughs> the usage rate right the there at about 100. Yeah. So, Nick, mm -hmm. will this potent super team with little depth work? No. Uh, with the one caveat of if they trade Aiton for three rotation pieces, three $10 million a year versatile players, maybe, but – that doesn't seem to be likely, and that's not the direction. This, your guy, Bill Simmons, years ago coined the phrase new owner syndrome, mm. and this is that no. uh, on steroids. I mean, Ishby has been there less than four months, and he has traded for Kevin Durant, got into an altercation with the league MVP, fired his coach, installed Isaiah Thomas seemingly as like a shadow GM, and now has traded for Bradley Beal, and we, you now have a team that is, once this year starts, we'll see what happens with Aiton, but whatever team they trot out there is their team. And it is a soon-to-be 35-year-old superstar in Durant that is a declining, injury-riddled player at this point in his career. You have Bradley Beal, who has been a consistently injured player over the last, the last few, few years. years. Not in the beginning of his career, right. he had mm -hmm. a couple 82 games. He seasons. feels like an old, an old 30, he's about to be an 30. old 30. Exactly right. And then Booker, who had been very durable until very recently. And the biggest issue is, aside from the lack of flexibility and the lack of defense, which are significant issues, is the positional and stylistic redundancy. Facts. The big threes that have worked. The first big three was in Boston. Three very different types of players. LeBron's big threes had some redundancy, but A, you had LeBron. A lot of redundancy. But, but you also had and a bit. You, 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 LeBron, and Wade, but all three weren't redundant. You had redundancy there, but you also you had. You know why that worked. Because LeBron and Wade were arguably the two best sure, players. Sure. That, that's what that's I'm saying. What LeBron's right. stuff, you can almost take it out. Like, right. the big, we don't look at Milwaukee as a big three. But they added a third piece in Drew Holiday that fit perfectly. Denver's big addition was Aaron Gordon that fit perfectly. Mm -hmm. the, the Brooklyn thing didn't work. Oklahoma City didn't work. And I'm not picking on Durant, but it was guys who need the ball, who need to shoot. And so I don't think they'll be bad, Brew. Right. But I don't think this is a champion. I don't. I, I think OKC, were, they didn't win a championship, but that was a really good team. They were constantly getting to the conference finals. I think he played in five conference finals. Uh, obviously got to one finals in OKC yes, with sure. Westbrook and Harden. But Harden or, or was Westbrook, only there right, for part Westbrook of it. Westbrook and, yep. and Durant. Um, Brooklyn, I know they were my squad. Yeah. But let's keep it real. The reasons, we don't know if they would have won a championship or not. But the real problems there were injuries and then just Kyrie's wackiness. I mean, that, that's really – they didn't really even get a chance and to see if they could really be good. And also left. lack of defense could have hurt them even if well, they were but, healthy. But they, their defense straightened up. Remember before, sure. they, before they traded uh, Kyrie and, and Durant. So, look, work is a championship. Let, let's define what working is because it's not getting to the finals. They've been to the finals just yeah. a couple years ago. It's not being a contender. They're a contender already. Yep. It is are you going to win the first ring in franchise mm -hmm. history? All right, and to that I would say no. But basketball-wise, I'm not as down on it as Nick. Here's why. I, I get it. There's no real true point, and you can say Bill and Booker are very similar. But what I see, we saw Booker can run the point in the uh, playoffs. Now, he's not going to be run it like Chris Paul, but he can run it and get a lot of assists. He averaged almost eight I assists. He, played he can play it like a Dame Lillard, like yeah. any of these scoring point guards. So I think you can have Booker and, Bre and Beal will both bring the ball up occasionally. And then Durant, we know he doesn't need the ball to be effective. I, we'll see what they do with DeAndre Ayton. I would love – I don't. it doesn't seem like this trade is even possibly Turner alive. Indiana, yeah, yeah, Turner and Heald. Um, but even if you keep if you keep Aiton, if he can, he's always had issues with his motor and mm -hmm. does he want to play hard all the time. Mm -hmm. But if he's just 16 and 10, they need size, so they need his size. My point is this: that's a heck of a foursome. That's even better than Chris Paul because at Chris Paul's age, he just is not as effective, and nor can stay healthy. 
Um, and then Tory Craig, I assume right now, will be a fifth starter because they'll just re-sign. I think they're going to re-sign the guys that left, Jake Lanford and junk like that. Um, Jack Landale. Yeah. Jack, I'm sorry, Land, uh, Landale. But the point is this. Role players should play effectively around those guys yeah. because they're drawing all the attention. If I'm the, the Suns, I'm talking to Tory Craig all summer. Look, all we want you to do is defend the heck out of the ball and work on your three. Shoot your three pointers. He shot almost 40% last year. Then the depth will come from the re signing guys. What I'm saying is this my main problems, like you said, my main concerns are health and lack of depth. Yeah. It is not can they work together. I think, because mm-hmm. Nick, even if they hadn't traded for Bill, they still were going to have trouble filling out the roster. No, but the, the, so I guess I, what I, I think I, that was a good move I, considering the position they were I, in. Go ahead, Wilds, and then I'll. I, go. I, I, I'm with you on the redundancy of the positions. So when we looked at Denver and we view them as a band, here's the band makeup I have. Tell me if you follow this. I have Joker as the lead singer, Jamal uh, Murray on lead guitar, Aaron Gordon on the drums, Bruce Brown on bass, and KCP on keyboards. Full-on band. Right. Here's what I, poor guy. Didn't yeah, well, even make the band. Go on ahead. the Suns, I have KD on, uh, as lead singer and Booker on, uh, as lead singer and Beal as lead singer. And <laughs> yeah. a- Aiden on the bass and no one's on drums. Maybe somebody from the... They're a hip-hop group. <laughs> All right, Aiden's the DJ and the rest of them are MCs. Can I, but they're they're I good. I just don't see it. We saw this the finals in all series. We saw... Aaron Gordon win a game. We saw Bruce Brown come in and win a game. We saw Christian Brown like explode. If you, those were stars, almost Star really per- contributing. M- so, but can I add? Here's the thing: you had this Chris Paul deal, which is a very unique one because only half guaranteed and then none guaranteed after this year. That could be attractive for a team looking to get off salary. That's how you end up getting Bradley mm-hmm. Beal. If I am Phoenix, I am saying Booker and Durant, the first. 10, 11 games of these playoffs played as well offensively as you could play. They were playing 45 minutes a night, and they both, even Booker as young as he is, seemed to tail off at the end. And we couldn't defend anybody. Turn Chris Paul into two rotation players, not one former All-Star is about to turn 30. He's going if he again, if he can stay healthy though, that's going to take a lot of pressure. They won't have to play those minutes anymore cuz they you can keep Booker and Beal yep. on the court and Durant's on the bench and then, you know, yeah, but the, the Beal stay and healthy Durant thing on the court is, and Booker I just on the bench. like so if you have a car that breaks down all the time, you're like I'm driving cross country. If it breaks down, you know, what am I going to do? You when you have guys who are consistently injured, trading for another guy who recently has been consistently injured and boxing yourself into that, it won't be like when Middleton two years ago got hurt. It's like, damn, that's no, bad luck. You know luck. where they are? They're like the same place the Lakers are. Like, can, can our guys stay healthy? But they it's are, the same type of thing. With no flexibility, though. With no movement, no ability But neither to team. Yeah. Let's help. look at the odds. Before the trade, the Suns had the fourth best odds. And now the third best, the number went from plus 900 to plus 600. So, Brew, how much pressure is KD under specifically to win a championship? I'm going to be honest. I think pressure is the product of expectations. I'm past the point of really expecting a championship from Kevin Durant. Yikes. I I just am. I I really, like, he hasn't been good in the last two postseasons. By his standards. Boston made him look like I, unlike I've ever seen him look mm-hmm. two yep. years ago. And Devin Booker was the guy this year. So here's the thing. If they win a championship, and I don't think they will, and it wouldn't – Durant would get credit and deservedly so. But if they were to win a championship, I think Devin Booker would be the guy leading them. Oh, really? I think – so the question, Nick – Do you I, think Booker's better than Durant right now? I, 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 I think I'm there's there some yet. differences. I mean, it, it, it might be stylistic, but I, I, I think Devin – I like his mentality Oh, more. he's a leader I think more. he's more of a leader, sure. and I think he's a strong personality. And he ain't deferring to Durant. We saw Durant last year deferring to him. So I think that yes. Booker would be the guy averaging more points and assists well, as he did in these plus. Because here, yeah. quickly, what's the question on Durant? It's not can he win. It's can he lead a team to a championship. We've seen him win. We give him credit for what he did in Golden State. But now we want to see if you can actually carry a team yourself to the championship as the number one guy. And I don't think he'd be that guy if they won. So the question is, 
if Booker's running point, mm -hmm. is do you expect him to lead the team in scoring? No, too, or I, that I was think Durant's still the best player, and I think he is guarded like he's the best player. I think other teams, I think Denver. It was a lot of the, single coverage the, in the playoffs. The, Gordon just. Oh, that's that's fair, but, the, but I, I, we'll see what happens this year because Booker was so great in the playoffs if that tilts. But if I can just show you quickly, like, if I think there's immense pressure for them to win immediately because it is their best chance is going to be right now. Right. Next year, highest that. paid guys in the league, okay? You have Beal and KD on that list. The year after, highest paid guys in the league, that is three – Phoenix Suns. The next year, highest paid guys in the league. Here's the top six. You have, top, top uh, uh, well, you have or the top eight. The <laughs> you have three Phoenix Suns. And so the point that I am trying to make is that it is not going to get easier. It's not like we're going to have more flexibility. We're yeah. going to have more. It's, and, we, no, and Durant's health. And Durant, Durant turns years? 35 be like? before this year starts. And so we don't have to get into the new CBA, the machinations of it, but just trust those of us like Wilds and Josh who have scoured it and studied it. It is the lack of flexibility for the Phoenix Suns. They've traded away all their picks. They've traded away all their swaps. They just traded away all their second rounders. If it's not working, Brew, they have no parachute. Because you can't even trade one of these guys for a bunch of other players like you could in the past if they're over that second apron, which they definitely will be. And so this is the team, and their best yeah, chance is going to be right. this yeah. year. But shout out to Ishbia for trying to win. Yeah, you I'd buy a team to try to try win. to win, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Granted, he was yeah. stealing the ball from Joker, but still, he's trying. His it's hardest. better than the alternative, the yeah. cheap owner, but maybe a little patient. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.